I just got an eight minute slot. <laughs> so I'll keep to that. Nevertheless, I will try to link with the talk of Kuhn. And there are two links, basically. The first link is that one of my dear colleagues is being sponsored by Abduzes. And she's working on food with cancer. Food against cancer, but also food after cancer, food in cancer. And that's one of the second messages that links. That there is something like health going together with disease. And my story is going to be a biological story. So a little bit boring maybe compared to the emotional story. But still there's a message. And the message is that we should take care about health. And we talk today about health care. But do we know what health care is? Do we know what health is? How aren't we dealing with disease management? So the question I would like to ask you, are you healthy? Raise your hand. Who is healthy? And why do you think you're healthy? <laughs> well, suppose we do a little diagnosis. Suppose I would like to ask, I, I'm asking you, do you have elevated blood pressure? Now. Do you have high blood sugar? Now. Do you have appetite? Now. Are you sweating a little bit? Now. Maybe you are. If you are, there could be something wrong. But I'm, I'm having these symptoms right now. <laughs> am, I, am I a patient? Am I diseased? No, it's a normal reaction of my body, of my physiology to a stressy situation. So actually my mind and my body just want to run, run away. So if I wouldn't have these symptoms, there could be two things. Either I could be trained, I could be ad adapted to the situation, or I should take, I could have taken a beta blocker like some artists do, and I was not able to respond anymore. So the basic message is twofold. First of all, you can challenge your health. Health is a normal response. Health is something which allows you to respond. And second thing is, you can train your health. So basically, this is what health is. Let's do another experiment. You were all healthy, you said. Well, at least the majority of you. Let's go for a run, a five kilometer run. So go outside, have a run for five kilometers. Well, some of you will return within half an hour with a big smile on their face. Wow, that was nice. And some of you will die on the way. <laughs> and the rest will be somewhere in between. And if we don't look directly, we can also look tomorrow, what will happen. And some will be very ill, will be sick, will have a flu. So again, I performed a challenge test with you to see whether you were healthy. So this is the standard definition of health. It works nice, it's the WHO definition. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Well, it's a nice definition. It takes into account some things. Health is something different from not having a disease, and there's also something like, okay, you can also be socially healthy or mentally healthy. However, it doesn't into, take into account the dynamics of health and the response to the, to the environment. And that is where it's coming to. Health doesn't stop when you are diseased. Health continu continues after you've been cured. So this is the biological definition of health, and that's the one we are using. We are looking at health from a biological perspective, and we try to measure health, because also that's what administrators want. They want to have proof. They want to see how healthy are you, and can we improve your health? Well, you can measure these things. Well, this is the so-called disempowered patient. She obediently takes 10 different medicines per day. She's subject to several clinical guidelines, visits a number of doctors. She's okay, she's stable, she's pretty happy, but her resilience, her health, is slowly fading away. She's not becoming more healthy. Is it possible to get more healthy? Yeah, it is possible. Also for these kind of people. By just doing training, by having good foods, by training your elasticity, your resilience of the system. And we've seen very good experiments going on now where we can really increase health of people. So this is the way we do it. I'm not going to explain this. This is called system biology. This is modern technology. The message is, with technology, it's now possible to measure health. And this is, again, something very different from disease. And health care should not be only disease management. 
This is your lifeline. This is the lifeline. This is your life with processes going up and down. And the physiologists among you know there's something like homeostasis. And the old Chinese were talking about yin and yang. And the people from Ayurveda, they all knew there's something like a balance in our body. And you can maintain our body, this balance. You can keep it, you can train it. And this balance, this bandwidth is going, it's becoming more narrow when you're getting old. And you can train it. And there are, there are periods of time where you get out of balance. You become ill, but most of the time you're able to recover. But the basic message is try to keep your body fit. But that's not just fit in the classical sense. There are new possibilities, new balances. We've heard the story about Kuhn, from Kuhn, about patients who, who are, receive, or let's say, entering a new balance situation. They're becoming healthy again, but still they are called patients. Well, what is a patient? So instead of treating disease, we should look at processes, we should look at patterns. And that's what system biology is doing. So the symptoms, the diseases are important. Okay, I wouldn't say they're not important, but they're just symptoms of a system which gets out of order. So this is the model of the patient. So health is social, health is psychological. And there's a patient central, and that's the message. But also biology now shows that it's not something like a vague, esoteric, hocus-pocus thing with a patient, with a mind and a body. Biology says there's no difference between mind and body. Mind and body should be stabilized. And there, there are ways to do it, and they're well defined nowadays. And technology helps us to demonstrate it. So the administrators can get reassured that it's possible and it's measurable. Again, it's not a vague thing from the past, although it has been very interesting in the past. But I think this is a very interesting statement. We're all different. We all try to keep healthy. We have our own bandwidth. Some are born with bad luck, some are a little bit more lucky, but everybody is able to train to maintain his or her health. And only 5% of the people are, seem to be able to do so. So that's what we need to do. We should not look at prevention of disease, we should look at the other way, about health. And science once was considered to be an art, but I think Medicine, sorry, medicine was once considered to be an art, but medicine can become a science again by looking at health. Thank you very much. 16 seconds.